Our back to school coverage continues. Students, teachers and staff at several districts in the upstate are halfway through their first week of classes and we have live team coverage. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is in Inman. We'll check in with her in just a moment. But let's start with Jennifer Martin. She's live at Cal Pence Elementary School. Good morning, Jennifer. Hey, good morning, Fred. So we're here at Calpins Elementary, one of six schools in District 3, and they're on a hybrid schedule here, so they're eager to welcome back the students for their second day today since they are on a staggered schedule. And here to tell us all about it is Allie Miles of District 3. Thank you so much for joining us very early this morning. Of course, happy to be here. So what do parents need to know about this hybrid schedule and how that will affect their children's day-to-day -day schedule? So right now, essentially what we're doing is, like, if you're an A-day student, you're going to come up to school on Mondays and Wednesdays, but that doesn't mean you're not doing schoolwork on Tuesdays mm -hmm. and Thursdays. They're still doing those assignments. They're working on either their Chromebooks or their laptops, depending on what grade level they're in, and we're still having that interaction with the teachers. So if they've got questions or if they need to contact someone, they're still able to do so. So those students need to bring a mask and probably a water bottle with them, right? True. We do have the water fountains right now just Especially when students are little, they're not entirely sure how to use that water fountain and we just can't risk those germs. So we've got water bottles for our students, but we also encourage them to bring that reusable bottle if they can. What about drop off and pick up here? What do parents need to know that might be different right now? Um, for the most part, it's the same. It's just that we're trying to do it on a more separated basis so that our students are coming out and there's not that crowding that you mm -hmm. sometimes see at schools. Okay, great. And uh, where there, did everything go smoothly the past couple of days? Yeah, I mean, any time that school's about to start, no matter what year, what circumstance, we're always nervous and anxious and mm -hmm. excited. This year it was definitely like just making sure they right. got that communication, they know the plan. So it was really exciting to That's see great. it all just fall into place and no major issues. And real quick, you guys had a student who donated some school supplies, Camden West. Yeah. What did he do? We have a picture of him as well to show how he brought some backpacks with some school supplies he brought to his students. Yeah, so the West family always makes a point to try to donate a few items if they can. And this year, Camden asked if he could get book bags as well. He got his whole family involved. And you can see that smile on his face. He Aww. was just so excited to be able to drop those, even though he's choosing to do virtual this year. That is so sweet. So got a great family here at Cowpens Elementary. Them, all Thank you so great. much, Allie. Sure. And we'll bring more about what Cowpens Elementary is doing in the next half hour. Live in Cowpens, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. Jennifer and Allie, thank you.